Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Europa Universalis 4, where we are playing as the Commonwealth, or as it was formerly known, Poland. So, um, what's been going on? We have been harassing Muscovy really quite intensively, and Muscovy is really an absolute shadow of its former self. We've actually managed to take Moscow in the previous battle against them. We kind of resurrected Novgorod, but they may well have served their purpose by this stage. Another opportunity which I'm currently noticing are uh, the Ottomans is currently fighting against the Mamluks, Funj, Najd, and Morocco. So all of their armies are going to be down here in the south, and Morocco should be doing a bit of a number on the Ottoman navy. So I'm wondering if we want to take this opportunity to go and secure some of the uh, Balkan territories from them. Because a weakened Ottomans would be nice. Like, I'm not too concerned about uh, the step hordes right now. They actually grow weaker and weaker as the game goes on. So we have plenty of opportunities. But to curtail Ottoman expansion early on, that would be nice. So I just need to do one quick check here. Culture. Romanian. Romanian is not Slavic, I've been told. Bulgarian, Serbian, Croatian, however, are. Is that Albanian? I'm not sure. So we can basically go all the way to the uh, the borders of Greece and take these. And I'll probably take the Romanian territories as well, just because, you know, they're in the way. Take Constantinople. Constantinople is Turkish. It is not Slavic. I do not need to liberate the peoples of Constantinople. Right, so I'm going to think say that we need to start shifting some of our forces south. Do I have a truce with you? I do not. Do I have a CB against you? I do. Well, it's only a humiliation. So we need to start doing some covert actions against you, uh, which will take a little while, so we may as well just go back to speed four and wait for that to happen. Hungary has embraced printing press. Congratulations. Oh uh, no, my Inquisitor died. Well, I'd better hire another one. Unrest reduction? I don't think that's something we actually need. We have a tremendous amount of unrest reduction. Even though we do have some concern about the strength of the Muscovites. Prestige? Prestige we could do with. Would give us more morale. Or inflation reduction. We have no inflation, so that's completely pointless. Or we could, of course, get a cheaper advisor. Maybe. Cossack host. Loyalty needs to be 50 or higher. Influence needs to be 40 or higher. I can fix that. Cool. So I need to apply those to my armies. We can do that in a moment. I'm getting distracted. What was I doing? Oh yeah, advisor. So let's take a look here. Um, that would be... Can't use that one. I mean, uh, ultimately it would be one of these guys. I think it was the Inquisitor that we had already. No, it wasn't. Okay, so we just need to support the clergy to give them a little bit more influence. And then we can grab another Inquisitor to help us convert stuff more better there we go marvelous and what ideas are we doing we're still doing offensive ideas though we're right at the very end of that so the next technology is in fact an idea group and we could get that right now do we want to no because it's three years ahead i don't want to waste admin points on that especially as i wouldn't be getting any innovativeness at this point so, nah. As Flanders, you formed the glorious Aranya nation in Mio and Taxes. Well done! That's something I really want to do when Dharma comes out for this. I'll be playing as uh, Helderland over here. And I'll try and form the Netherlands and have some shenan shenanigans and things like that in... India. Albanians are not Slavs, and Constantinople is another trade node worth keeping away from the Venetians. Yeah, true. Let's get 
rid of a regular cavalry. Remove group. We're almost at full strength. It's rather nice. Oh, I have such good officers, crikey. <laughs> it's actually kind of scary. And right, yes, one of my armies did get stack wiped, so we are actually short a bunch. Well, okay, that spawned quicker than I expected them to. Let's stop you two drilling and send you up over here. It'll take them a while to get through the walls, so it's fine. <clears throat> How is the conversion process going? Oh boy, we still have a lot to go. Okay, it's a good thing that we have decent missionary then. Turco-Polish tension. Poland and the Ottoman Empire came into conflict in the 1670s and 80s where the Cossacks in the Polish part of the divided Ukraine submitted to the Ottoman Empire and called for Tatar aid against Poland. Victories won by Hetman Jan Sobieski only temporarily forestalled the threat and in 1672 the Commonwealth faced a major invasion by the Ottoman Empire. Um, okay. So I'm about to get a massive injection of manpower. So what I'd really like to do is hire a bunch of troops, so that's going to cost me 300. So in that case, um, what's my template again? 965. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will defend Christendom, which gets me the manpower back, and we can have another stack. Excellent! And we do now have a conquest CB against the Ottomans. So once these guys are done with you, we're going to start shifting you guys down here to prepare for an invasion of the Ottomans. Now, who are your allies? Rasids, Tunis, Gazamuk, and Chagatai. That's fine. Although Gazamuk's fairly large. Denmark no longer rivals Brandenburg. Probably good for them. I was going to say, what the hell's just happened to my money and then suddenly it just came back again? Reinforcement, that's what happened to my money. Ah, oh, the truce with Muscovy ended. Oh well. Um, this is a war they have started. I will lose 25 prestige and probably trust with people like Brandenburg, which I really don't want to do. I will accept, but after this war is over, you and I, we're done. I mean, it's a nice thing that you're killing Muscovy off for me. I mean, I have to give you that much credit at least. Grudgingly. Meanwhile, you're still at war with those guys. I need my diplomat. Um, not you. Why am I building a spy network against Brandenburg? They're my ally. Past Mordred, what were you doing? Need another general. We have one. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's the crappy king. And the air is quite a lot stronger right now, so I'd be fairly happy for you to just die. Although I think I'm actually going to put the rubbishy king here. And have my frontliners actually be the decent generals. Probably a better plan. So where is the province that I'm going for? Varad is there. Right, okay. Let's do this. Right, 
take book rest first. Cossack aggression versus who? Ryzan. Refuse to take responsibility, A eh, Ryzan. Wouldn't it be a shame if someone were to come after you, A eh, Ryzan? No, oh, you're a vassal. A vassal of the guy that I'm currently allied in a war. Oh well. Wasn't it because Brandenburg took a Slavic province from you? Yes, actually, you're right. I was going to try and raise rebels. Alright, let's continue doing the spy network. And we'll stop it with you. And you. Don't know who you are. Well, actually, we got the war declaration, so we could have kept those guys doing whatever it was that they were doing. What's the important one? Allies. Let's keep the allies sweet. Because I've only got the one vassal, which is Moravia. With whom I do need to do something at some point. Ah, the crest has fallen. Good. Go take their forts down here. This shall be something of a blitzkrieg. Traditionally, advancing armies have been expected to supply themselves from what they can plunder in the area they move through. This is often the only way for soldiers to survive in wartime, as payments from the kingdom treasury can rarely be brought in a timely manner to the men. In fact, by paying retroactively, many also avoid the strain of paying for the fallen. So we can gain professionalism and lose money. Or lose professionalism and gain money. But lose two base production in Bucharest. Bucharest is one of the places I do want to take, so I don't want to sack it. So we will take a loan. Better payments and harsher discipline. Let's get that professionalism up, shall we? How far behind is the YouTube series? Um, that's a good question. Not hugely. What day is today? It's the four. Eight episodes? No, more. Yeah, it's about eight episodes behind. Unless I have another one recorded, but I don't think I do. Pretty sure that I've rendered everything already. Just double checking. This is all Western Rome. I have so much Western Rome recorded. It's insane. Yeah, that's all Western Rome. More converting. You know what? Start on Moscow. Let's get that one done. We are really good at sieging stuff. <laughs> and you now have the troops to go up to a standard template. So let's go ahead and order those up right now. And we'll get them in place. Now, do I have too few leaders? I do, so I could actually get one more. Go ahead. Reduce morale damage taken by reserves. That's actually really strong. And then you can have that guy. He's not the best. I don't really want to spend military points on re-rolling them. We've won Salonic already. Fucking hell. <laughs> and Constantinople. Yeah, the Ottomans are going down. There goes Odin. The strengthening of the privileges of the nobles is severely upsetting the burkhas and merchants. This is creating turmoil in the realm and may prove disastrous in the long run. That's not good. Did not do that. And the knights are raiding me. Only because I'm not Catholic. And again! Killing Ottoman rebels for them. Aren't I nice? Just gonna wipe them out. I'm actually quite surprised just how easy this has been so far. Oh, there's an Ottoman army, finally. 
Um, let's move you here. And you as well. And we'll hit that one at the same time. They're moving their ships away. For Pete's sake, I am really just tearing through them. So what happens when you declare war on someone and they've got all of their armies on the opposite end of the country? I'm sure this is a completely original and entirely masterful strategy that I have going here. <laughs> um, I mean, that would give me another 5% discipline. It would also give me 15% morale. But it would put me behind a military tech, which is actually new cavalry, so no, we're not doing that. Yeah, my generals are obscene. Oh, they don't even have general here. <laughs> oh dear. That is not going to bode well for them. Not going to bode well for them at all. Especially as we're kind of at the height of our... How did you get through Constantinople? It's a fall. Uh... Sheet. Don't tell me Hungary is attacking as well. Nope. Hungary is not attacking. Stop being beat. Don't get tempted. No, they run away. And they have a general. They saw us coming. Cossack aggression. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it's beyond our control. There's, there's nothing we can do about this whatsoever. We value the Cossack principles of freedom and lack of oversight. Aha, here they come. Locked in. Right, let's see how this battle goes. So they have a three-star general, we have a three-star general, I have 110 discipline to their 105, we have the same amount of morale, they have a minus two from the crossing, I have a lot more cavalry than they, they have more artillery than I, their infantry has a bit of drill but no other bonuses, their cavalry is plus 15 percent, amateurs, my infantry are at a plus 10, my cavalry are at a plus 58, <laughs> my artillery are just normal. So the shock phase is going to be mental and now I outnumber them too. Fire, shock, thousand. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. They didn't stand a chance. And I'm gonna have to walk all the way around. I have access through Kazan. I can get into Kazamuk because I'm at war with them. Yep. Moscovy really wants out. And Moscovy's at Wood Novgorod as well. France, internal conflicts. This is the most pathetic France I've ever seen. And in fact, England's about to grow at the expense of Burgundy. I love this Aragon too. This is an amazing Aragon. And in fact, Venice has had a good game. There's a lot of powers who don't usually do very well who have done very, very well. Move you guys over there. And they don't seem to be garrisoning Corfu. But I know how this works and I don't really want to get stuck in Corfu. So we'll leave that. Okay, so what provinces do I want from this? Basically everything up to there. Avlona. Yeah, that's it. That's about all I could take right now. 
And this is really ugly. I'm not actually going to do that. I just wanted an idea of what kind of territory I, I could expect to take from this. That's the limit. Oh no, that's aggressive expansion. That's overextension. I don't really care about the aggressive expansion. Bohemia's pissed, but they already are. Moscovy, Ninchi, Novgorod, Hungary, Austria, Mamluks. Yeah, this is fine. Th this is what I want. More or less. I'll go with that. 77%. Alright. And I'm going to spend just a tiny bit of development. Just to make sure we don't go over and waste some. Alright, so now they're de dealt with, I think I need to launch an invasion of Gazamook. Which you can launch. I'll leave these two to defend down here. And we'll send these guys over as well, I think. So we'll leave 40,000, we'll send 60,000 over towards Gazamook and then hit them from behind. I think that will be acceptable! Sakyo, go easy with the slurs, if you want to watch this. Consider that your first warning. And by go easy, I mean don't do it. It's not welcome here. It is January! Tech, tech, tech. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Huzzah! Yeah. No. <laughs> Alright, so... Do, 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 do. We have got... Oh, thank you, Cromwell! Thanks very much for the Twitch Prime uh, resub. That's three months in a row. Nice one. Thanks very much for your support. Appreciate that. I'm sorry that it came at the same time as me banning someone. Um, right. Oh, timing out. Do do do. I need a new thing. I was going to go for humanist, wasn't I? That was one of the ideas I had. Or I don't really need any of the diplomatic. Trade would be the only one I'd be tempted by. Possibly espionage, though I don't really think that would be particularly useful. So this is either going to be humanist, religious, or innovative. I think we already decided that we weren't going to go religious. So it's going to be humanist. Because we want the religious unity. That's the important thing. So that we can keep the fervor up. Plus having the national unrest and years of separatism is also going to be super nice. And actually the max promoted cultures would also be a nice one to have. Or innovativeness where we get prestige decay reduction. Mercenaries cost less. Yeah. Tech cost minus 10%. I mean that is always amazing. Inflation I don't really do. The monthly war exhaustion reduction is also really nice. Advisor cost minus 25% and leaders without upkeep. I do like innovativeness. Alright, what policies do you give? So we can get production efficiency with aristocratic. We can get leader siege and siege ability with offensive. Or. National unrest and years of separatism. Or another 20% religious unity and production efficiency. I mean, from the policies, probably innovative. Oh, and we have um, offensive as well, which hasn't been finished yet. Wait. No, we only have the two. Never mind. Offensive was already counted in. So which do we go for? Humanist or innovativeness? I mean, innovativeness early is better, because then you can get more monarch points back from the tech cost reduction. And in fact, also the advisor cost reduction, because that means we could... Um, actually go for level 4 and level 5 advisors, realistically, earlier. So we're going to go with the innovativeness. Yeah. I'm going to keep the admin points for now because we're about to do a bunch of coring. 
I find myself barely ever taking diplo ideas. Is something wrong with you? Um, no. Well, it depends who you're playing as. If you're playing as a naval nation, then yes, yeah, something is wrong with you. If you're not playing as a naval nation, then no. Except for trade. Oh, and we have a superior unit type, which is cavalry. Right, so we definitely want to double down on the sheer amount of shock damage we're doing, which would suggest the southern Cossacks with the level 4 shock. They have good morale resist, though morale resist isn't really a huge issue. The reformed eastern Hussars have shock resist and also fire resist, which means you'll take less firepower or fire damage. Then the eastern Caracol with the fire bonus, not really useful. Cavalry with fire attack, doesn't happen. So we're going to go Southern Cossacks. We're just going to go all out offense on the, the horsemen. Lack of officers. In order to keep a sizable professional army efficient, a sufficient number of trained officers are required to carry out the orders and the will of the crown. However, the increased demand on quality leadership is not matched by the number of officers in our roles. So we can lose 19,000 manpower or professionalism. I'm going to lose the manpower. Let's tighten up the quality, shall we? Depletion of the European beaver. Price of fur has gone up by 40%. Do we produce fur yet? No, we're just outside of the fur production. That's all held by Novgorod, but... Soon, my precious. Soon. What troops do the Ottomans actually have? Yeah, see, they outnumber us two to one, and we're still caning them. Admittedly, we've only really had the one big battle. And Brandenburg would like to be called in. Ottomans still seem to be very much busy with the Mamluks right now. Tunis, are you allied with the Ottomans? Yeah, you are. So Morocco and Tunis are fighting each other. Actually, this could be the downfall of Tunis. That would be interesting. Delayed salaries. The campaign in the Ottomans has run into severe logistical problems. As the season for salary payment draws nearer, it's becoming abundantly clear we will not be able to pay all the troops as there's simply no way for the money to get to them on time. Our generals blame constant enemy raids on the baggage train and insist they planned everything in detail. But the problem is now Carol I's problem to solve. If we only pay a fraction of our troops, many will no doubt desert. Or we could choose to pay none of them and tell them to live off the land, but that would likely devastate the entire area. Pay the elites. Lose 14,000. God damn it. Just lost like 30,000 manpower without firing a shot. Hey, Margin. Here we go, two bottles of Hetokian in one giant ale flagon. A toast to Mordred and Poland and the Maudlings! Huzzah! Alright, I need, I, need I need tea to properly t accept that toast. It's so hot, I haven't even poured it yet. Ow! So is the teapot. 